for the fourth part, you uh, you play an open fifth, and then ninth on the fourth uh, fourth string with their index finger. That is, and then with their pinky, you play twelfth of the third string, and then you play that open fifth again. Then with their middle finger, you play the tenth of the second string. Slide that up to the twelfth. Then you pull that off. And then you play the six. Yep, six. Then with their index in your middle finger, you play the twelfth on the fifth string and the uh, toth on the fourth string. And um, because I'm using hybrid picking, I just use my pick and my middle finger to pluck these. Um, but you could strum it. I just don't like to get that, that dead note in between. But make sure you do make uh, the fourth string a dead note with their index finger. Play those. Then you slide it up two frets to the 14th. Then you slide it back down. Then from there you hold the 5th of the 4th string and you play the 6th, 5th, and 4th strings at the same time. And then you hammer on with the pinky onto the 7th fret of the 4th uh, the string, that is. Then with their index finger you play the 4th uh, fourth of the third string, and then you go back to the fifth of the fourth string. So, from there you play the ninth of the sixth string, then an open uh, third, and then uh, with the ring finger you play the ninth of the first string. Then you go back to the 6th string, still holding that with your middle finger. Then you play the 1st string, still with the ring finger on the ninth fret. Except you hammer on to the 10th with the pinky. Then you pull back to the ninth, And then you play... Yeah, open 2nd and 3rd. So... So the next part, you play uh, your index finger, plays the third, uh, fourth fret of the third string, hammers on with their middle finger onto the fifth fret, pulls back off to the fourth. Then your middle finger plays the fifth of the fourth, uh, fourth string, pulls off to open. Then you could bar the fifth string of the fourth and the fifth strings, or the fourth fret of the fourth and fifth strings. And you play the fifth string, then the fourth string. And then your ring finger hammers onto the seventh fret of the fourth string, and then pulls that back off. I'll play it uh, again, just like all the other parts slowly real quick. A bit faster now. Now up to full speed. I 
forgot to mention he repeats that fourth part, but you probably saw it if you just watched me play it for you guys over again. He After that, he goes back to the third part and repeats that, goes back to the fourth part and repeats it. Except um, on the very last time he plays the fourth part, he adds in natural harmonics on the fifth fret. And I believe it's the fifth, fourth, and third and second strings, so. So that just sounds like, um, the last part sounds like, uh. It's kind of hard to get that to ring out all the way. At least sometimes it is. But yeah, then it goes into the fifth part. So yeah. <laughs> 